And we are live. Uh, we are ready. Okay, thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Spe Speaker Sakarchi, Representative McNamara, Senator Gallo, Commissioner Infante Green, distinguished guests, family, and friends. My name is Karen Tarasevich, and I'm the Superintendent of Schools for the West Swowick School System, and I'm the current president of the RISA organization. Welcome and thank you for joining us today on this very special occasion as we come together to acknowledge Representative Greg Amore of East Providence as this year's recipient of the Paul Crowley Award. The Paul Crowley Award is given each year by the Rhode Island Superintendents Association of Rhode Island to a Rhode Island citizen who in his or her professional and or personal capacity has demonstrated a long-standing commitment to improving the quality of education for all children of Rhode Island with the same zeal and perseverance as Representative Paul Crowley did throughout his career as a state representative. Each recipient of the Paul Crowley Award has been selected based on the evidence of their impact on educational legislation, measurable accomplishments, and the acknowledgement by multiple constituencies as a leader in all of the above areas. The recipient of this award will receive a framed citation from the RISA organization, as well as a trophy, acknowledging service and support of public education in Rhode Island. They also receive a $1,000 scholarship award to be awarded to a deserving senior, high school senior planning a career in education and graduating from a Rhode Island public high school to be selected by the award recipient. And at that, I would welcome Speaker Sakarchi to give some remarks. Well, thank you very much, Karen, and, and thank you all uh, uh, for this opportunity and for the recognition so well deserved for my good friend, uh, Chairman Amore. Uh, Greg has been a friend since we came into the house together. Uh, I, we sit next to each other in the house. There's a few seatmates between us, but we talk quite frequently on the floor. Uh, and it's always interesting. And I, I'll share a personal note that I have some accolades I wanna talk about Greg, but almost inevitably when someone is in the chamber or some person is there and they're from the town, the city of East Providence, uh, Greg turns to me and he says to me, that's a student of mine, that's somebody. And I, so I turned back at him, I said, is there anybody in East Providence who is not a student of yours? And every one of them has been accomplished and has done well. And that's just a testament to the East Providence school system and Greg and the way he has mentored people and taught people, not only as a teacher, but as a coach. Uh, I, mean, I could go on and on, but it's just so fitting that Greg is the recipient of the award this year uh, for so many reasons, but because Representative Crowley, he sat as the chairman of the House uh, Subcommittee on Education, just as Greg sits. So it's very apropos that he wins this award. It's a recognition to him. Uh, Representative Crowley, I remember him from my years at the pay, as a page in the House many, many years ago. He was a talented, hardworking person. Education was his passion. Just as I can say the same thing about Greg, education is his passion. And he had, has done so many things over the course of his career, both uh, Chairman Crowley and Chairman Amore, uh, that have been helped so many generations of people attain an education. Greg has worked tirelessly to make the Promise program a reality in Rhode Island so that people, underprivileged people, have the opportunity for a college education and not be saddled with debt. He's helped people who have never had a family member graduate from college to attain that. He worked tirelessly in 2018 to pass a major reform bill, uh, restructuring education from the ground level up that has helped improve students' education. He, he worked to pass a, a major bond bill that improves the, the bricks and mortar of schools so we can have our students uh, learn in an environment that's safe, warm, and modern, and they can breathe clean air as they learn. So for all of those reasons, I can't think of a better person than Greg. I know Chairman uh, Magnamara is on this call as well, and he was a previous winner of this award, well-deserved. Uh, when I have an education issue or a question, I go to these two gentlemen, uh, Chairman Magnamara, Chairman Amore, they're my go-to guys on education. They help set the policy that drives our education um, positions in the house and they're very well deserved. Greg, on a personal note, congratulations to you, my friend. You deserve it. It's 
I'm proud when people of the house receive awards. It means we all do well. And Greg epitomizes that for everybody in the house. He conducts himself with class, dignity, passion, and kindness to everybody. And I can't think of a better person to win any award, but certainly an award on education. So Greg, congratulations to you. I know there's a lot of speakers uh, on the program today who want to talk about you. Very well deserved. You make the House of Representatives proud. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Next, I'd like to call on Representative Joseph McNamara, who is the chair of the House Committee on Health, Education, and Welfare. Thank you, uh, Madam President, Mr. Speaker, Chairman Amore, Senator Gallo, Commissioner, and honored guests. Uh, it certainly is a pleasure for me today to be before you and to uh, honor my colleague and friend, uh, Greg Amore. And I couldn't be more thrilled. And I am struck by the irony between the similarities between Paul Crowley and Representative Amore. Uh, one of the qualifications for this award is zeal and perseverance. Both Paul Crowley and Chairman Amore have zeal, perseverance, and I can also say enthusiasm for our students. Uh, we all know that uh, Greg is a career educator, and as the speaker pointed out, he holds the same position that Paul Crowley held. And before the separation of powers, Paul Crowley was on the uh, Board of Education. So he was involved with education on a policy level, and People say what they want about the separation of powers, but I believe in that particular situation, he had an added benefit of this knowledge in policy that he brought to the house. Greg, as a history teacher and as the director of athletics, has a wealth of knowledge that he brings to the state house and not to mention, Greg, as the speaker said, not only do his students testify, they are leaders in their testimony and they're extremely articulate and uh, we couldn't be more proud. But I think it's interesting, again, the, with the similarities with Paul Crowley, I've played golf with Paul and Greg, Greg, hits the ball a lot farther, but Paul Crowley, like Greg, was more fun to play golf with. And they were, they're both also ath athletes and have a history of playing. They both played football. Paul also played rugby. Uh, Greg played football, very well known for baseball in high school and college. And he brings that competitive edge that you need as a legislator to win. And uh, I know I have a picture about 15 years ago. Here's a picture of Paul Crowley and myself celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And he would do everything with tremendous enthusiasm as does Greg. Uh, Greg's advocacy for our students is unbelievable. Recently, we had a discussion. He was fighting for our AP courses to be accepted at all of our colleges and universities. He uh, is very pragmatic when he considers very difficult educational issues, and that certainly helps to add to uh, the conversation. So it is very fitting indeed to have Greg uh, be honored with this award today because he, like Paul Crowley, has demonstrated that perseverance, continually fighting for students, and the zeal for education, both professionally and as a legislator. So to the uh, entire Amore family, uh, 
congratulations. We're just so proud that uh, Greg's receiving this award today. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Representative McNamara. Next, I'd like to call on Senator Hannah Gallo, who is the Senate uh, Pre President Pro Tem and last year's recipient of the Paul Crowley Award. Senator Gallo. Thank you so much. It's truly a pleasure to join everyone this afternoon. This uh, award is very meaningful um, to me because of the legacy of Paul Crowley and all it represents. I'm very pleased that Representative Amori will be receiving it this year. And it was a pleasure last year, thank you. Um, I had the ple pleasure of working with um, the late Representative Crowley during my time in the Senate. And unfortunately, I wish I could say like the speaker, I was a page, but I was a Senator <laughs> serving with him. And I served with him on the Board of Regents and we worked on many legislation. Um, together. But Paul made a lasting impact on Rhode Island's educational community with his dedication to improving the quality of education for all students, not just some, all. Comparatively, Greg Amore has been instrumental in improving education around the state. I was fortunate enough to work collaboratively with Greg on several important initiatives over the years. But most notably, what I'm most proud of is the historic reform package that was enacted in 2019. This legislation aligned the curriculum with high standards of skills, competencies, and knowledge expected of each student and improved the school accountability. I'm not gonna be repetitive because um, my colleagues both said a lot of what I wanted to say, but um, Greg is dedicated to education. Um, both at, in the Senate and in his day job. Um, he's taught and coached in East Providence School, you know, where he's been an athletic for many years. Greg was recognized as the Rhode Island History Teacher of the Year by the Daughters of the American Revolution, among many awards that he has received. Like Paul Crowley, Representative Amore's dedication to education has resonated across the state. His impact has been felt directly through the students and the scholar athletes he has mentored and supported and in his work to improve public policy. Congratulations, Craig, on this well-deserved recognition. We're all so proud of you. Thank you, Senator Gallo. Can I interrupt you for one minute, Karen, because I, I, I think Senator Gallo misspoke when she said Greg's work in the Senate. I want to let you know Greg's not going anywhere. He's staying right where he is in the House. Uh, we appreciate that. And I know Senator Gallo, you probably joined maybe late. I didn't see you, but I wanted to congratulate you for being last year's winner. Well-deserved. She's a very strong advocate in the Senate, not only for her constituents, for education. And she was a good choice that you made last year. And I'm sorry I didn't recognize you in the beginning, but I think you may have joined later. But thank you, Senator, for all you do as well. Thank you very much, Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Well said. Thank you. Next in our program this afternoon, I welcome Commissioner Infante Green. Thank you, Karen. So I am extremely honored and privileged um, to be saying a few words uh, about this award. Or, and I'm not going to repeat what everybody has said. But Greg, I think when I think of you, you think of somebody who's a teacher, right? We're all teachers but someone who takes on more than that. If we think of teachers, teachers are educators that persevere, push, guide, but then on top of being a history teacher, you're a coach, right? So a coach understands how to push every individual person to their greatest limit. You guide them, you push them, you find the ways to actually get people on that path. And that's how, how I see you. I remember my first meeting with you in my office. You know, you, we were talking back and forth and you said to me, Commissioner, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and Greg is a very big guy <laughs> sitting there. And he's like, we're gonna get there. And I was like, I know, I know. And what he meant was, when we were having that conversation is that he really felt that everything that we do and did and are gonna do are centered around children. And the first conversation we had was about East Providence. I'm sure, Kathy, you'd love that. But it was about the diversity, the richness, and everything that East Providence has been able to accomplish and the vision. 
So for me at that moment, I knew that Greg was a partner because he understood that it was about getting kids to the next level, each individual student. So everything that Greg puts forward is with that in mind, with that vision of pushing everybody to the next level, including me <laughs> and everybody in education. So I am so proud and excited. And um, there's so much more I can say, but I have to say that I'm humbled and I'm glad that you're representing us all and especially the children of Rhode Island. I feel incredibly grateful for your work. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Next, I'd like to call on Tim Ryan, who is the RISA lobbyist. Tim? Thank you, Karen. It's really a privilege to participate in this ceremony. I think if people really took a step back, often there's negative uh, criticism of the legislature, but people don't know how hard our leaders and our elected representatives work. Um, I know the, the speaker, the chairman, uh, President uh, Gallo, and Greg are so available to the public. And some of these hearings can be pretty challenging uh, with diverse opinions and, and, and the people who come to the State House are treated politely, they're treated respectfully, and this is how democracy works. Um, we were given a lesson in January about how fragile our democracy can be. And it's so, so important that we have strong people who are willing to stand up and be counted and, and be the representatives of the people. People have made a lot of references to the Crowleys. And Paul Crowley, as an Irishman from Newport, a, a Hibernian, uh, we know Irish is, is a big deal in Newport. But it wasn't just Paul. Like, like Greg Amore, Paul Crowley was a family man. His brother Mike was pres president of the Rhode Island School Committees Association. He was the ch chair of the Middletown School Committee for years. His nephew, the late Jamie Crowley, a wonderful young man, was principal of the year, passed away much too soon. He was a principal in Newport. So the Crowleys, like Greg Amore, had a whole family tradition of contributing to education and putting kids first. Um, Greg is you know, an ideal representative. This has been said before, he's, he's a leader. Um, he, he's not just a leader in terms of his political, but he's a thought leader. I happened to do a study with, with a professor at Brown and, and was really in the weeds on demographics and uh, and, and I sent it to Greg and, and I said, you know, I really don't want to bog you down. He goes, no, I love this stuff. Mm. Greg's a thinker. He's much deeper and he really understands the issues at so many levels. Um, as an AD, as a teacher, he understands how COVID has affected our kids. His own daughter graduating last year, having to, to lose all those things that, that our kids uh, typically experience with proms and graduations. And Greg brings that perspective to the house. Um, he's, he's really, this is just such a, a, a appropriate award for Greg to get from the Superintendents Association. He's such a valuable representative. He's, he's an advocate for kids. He's a, a really thoughtful representative to his constituents. And most of all, he's, he's a friend. So congratulations, Greg. And I'm honored to be participating in this ceremony that recognizes you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, the introduction of Representative Greg Amore as the Paul Crowley Award honoree. I welcome Kathy Crowley, the superintendent from the West, uh, excuse me, East Providence Public Schools and the RISA president-elect. Kathy? Yeah, greetings and welcome. I am also very honored to be here this evening or this afternoon, I should say, amongst all of you. I would like to welcome all of our distinguished guests to our electronic gathering. Senator Hannah Gallo, last year's recipient and my friend lives across the street and I never hesitate to call or text or run across the street. Thank you, Hannah. Representative Joe Sircacci, I look forward to working with you, Representative Sircacci, this year. And believe me, I head the legislative committee for the Superintendents Association, so we will meet sometime soon. Representative McNamara, I look forward to continue to work with you closely. All members of the House and Senate that may be watching this this afternoon, Commissioner Angelica Infante Green, thank you for being here to honor Greg Amore this afternoon. Members of the Rhode Island Association of School Superintendents who are all watching you this afternoon on another link, Greg. 
A special welcome to members of the East Providence community and our East Providence School Committee, who are also watching you on another link this afternoon as well. East Providence thrives on townie pride. Representative Moore, a true townie, is an example of why East Providence has so many reasons to be very proud. And I am very proud to be the superintendent of East Providence and to be able to work so closely with Greg Amori. Although Mr. Amori says, it is a good day when I haven't heard from the superintendent. So you can see I'm always in his office or on the phone between 6.30 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. I'd like to issue a very, very special welcome to Greg's family. His wife, Lee, is a beautiful, wonderful person. Over the last five years, I've gotten to know them and I consider his family amongst my close friends. Um, we have honored her with a bouquet of red roses today because behind every great man, there is a greater woman, Greg, and I hope you know that, but I'm sure Lee is very proud of you. So thank you, Lee, also. And to his two wonderful daughters, Tess, a senior at American University majoring, majoring in political science. She's watching us from Washington, D.C. today. So Tess, again, thank you. Meg, a freshman at Manhattanville College majoring in communications. Meg has taken a little side trip this year as a result of COVID-19, but we'll be pursuing this next year. They're a beautiful family. And another very special woman in Greg's life, who is his mother, Nancy Amori, who passed away this year, but is with us spiritually today and looking at her son with great pride. She might be even closer than I think, Greg, because I think she's whispering in my ear, you better do a good job for my son today. And Nancy, I also call a friend, a very dear friend. A little bit about Greg Amori. He has served the residents of East Providence since first being elected in 2012. Representative Amori serves as deputy majority leader and is chairman of the House Finance Subcommittee on Education. He also sits on the full House Committee on Finance and Education. He served as the chairman of the House Committee on Small Business from 2018 to 2020. During the 2020 legislative session, Representative Amori sponsored legislation which creates a new income tax bracket at, of 6.99% on taxable income over $500,000. Any tax collected on this income would be deposited into restricted receipt account and expended on education for grades kindergarten through 12th grade. In 2019, Chairman Amore was the sponsor of major public education reform law that increased building level management of schools. He is also was the composer of a new law that will protect students, student loan borrowers and establish oversight of student loan services operating in Rhode Island. He played a key role in the passage of the 2019 budget article containing historic school construction bond assistance. He sponsored the bill placing the East Providence High School construction project on the ballot and following voter approval. The state is now providing up to 70% reimbursement for state-of-the-art facility. And I invite you all to come out and visit the new East Providence High School. It's absolutely magnificent. Representative Amori also played a pivotal role in the budget article that created the Rhode Island Promise Program, ensuring the opportunity for tuition-free years at the Community College of Rhode Island for every Rhode Island high school graduate. Representative Amori has twice been named Mothers Against Drunk Driving Rhode Island Legislator of the Year for his efforts regarding legislation aimed at curbing drunk driving in Rhode Island. Born on October 28, 1966, Representative Amori graduated from East Providence High School in 1984 before continuing his education at Providence College, where he earned a bachelor's degree in history in 1988. In 2010, he earned a master's degree in public policy from New England College. 
In addition to his duties as a legislator, Representative Amori is the athletic director for the East Providence School Department after a long teaching career at East Providence High School. In 2008, Representative Amori was recognized as Rhode Island History Teacher of the Year by the Daughters of the American Revolution. He had a long collegiate and high school coaching career in both hockey and baseball. He served as the head baseball coach at the Naval Academy Prep School in Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, LaSalle Academy, I'm gonna say that very quietly, and East Providence High School. He also served as the hitting coach for the Providence College Friars baseball team in the early 1990s. He was honored by the Rhode Island Athletic Trainers Association with the group 2019 Frank Murgo Service Award for his educational efforts and dedicated service to the athletes and athletic trainers of Rhode Island. He is past member of the board of directors for the East Providence Education Association and is a current board member of the Friends of Tommy Athletics and East Providence High School Hall of Fame Committee. He is also a member of the Rhode Island Historical Society and a member of the Board of Directors for the East Providence Mohawks Youth Organization in association with the Boys and Girls Club of East Providence. He serves on the East Providence Democratic City Committee and is a volunteer under the direction of his wife, Lee, as usual, in the St. Matthew and Mark Barrington Riverside Meals on Wheels program. That's the kind of family that Greg Amore belongs to. It is now my great honor, pride, and privilege as a representative of RIASA to award you the 2021 Paul W. Crowley Award for contributing to the education of Rhode Island students to Representative Greg Amore. Greg does have the award with him. I delivered it earlier to his home today and he has it and he has shown it there. So congratulations, Greg. Thank you. Thank you very much, Superintendent Crowley. So this was in an award ceremony earlier today, as they say in the Grammys, uh, that I received this award. So, so I'll, I'll be brief because uh, I'm humbled and honored and I thank you all for giving me a preview to my memorial service. Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, it, is a, it is a labor of love uh, to work in public education and in public service. And I wanna thank uh, all of those who spoke so kindly about me uh, today. I, I've been, it's been a pleasure to work with Senator Gallo on a host of issues. We've traveled together um, on legislative issues. Um, she's a great champion for public education. Uh, Representative McNamara, Chairman McNamara and I hit it off the minute I was elected uh, and we've been working collaboratively ever since. I appreciate the kind words. Speaker Shikarchi uh, and I were elected at the same time and uh, I could not be uh, more happy with his ascension to the leadership in the Rhode Island General Assembly. He's been a very good friend to me and, and I, I appreciate the kind words uh, uh, today and his leadership on all issues, but especially on education. Um, I have been lucky to work with um, the Superintendent Association closely on all the issues we, we've mentioned today. And I can tell uh, everyone listening that this is a group of dedicated professionals. Uh, they, they, are, they are serious minded and they care so much about their districts and their communities and the students. Um, it, it's a true pleasure. And, and the same goes, and I see Anna Riley's here and the commissioner, thank you for those uh, kind words. Same goes for the professionals at Ride who I deal with uh, on a regular basis and we, and we push back on each other a lot, um, but it's a, it's a good professional collaborative relationship and, I, and I, I've come to appreciate that. Uh, Tim Ryan and I are, are in communication uh, all the time uh, on, on a myriad of issues and again, a real pro. So, so to Karen and, and Tarasevich and, and Kathy and Tom and the, the association, I could not be more honored. I, I didn't know Paul Crowley. I am half Irish. Uh, the other half is, is Italian. So it's a good, it's a good span of days for me uh, coming on. I did not know Paul, but of course I knew of Paul. Um, and it's, it's just a real privilege to be mentioned in the same breath and, and to be compared to him. And I know that my family's watching uh, and, uh, and I, you know, I, I couldn't do the things I do without the support of my wife, Lee, and, and my daughters, Meg and Tess, and, and I'm so proud of them. Um, I know that I have colleagues watching from East Providence High School, and, and I really appreciate their support. This is a good time to really point out 
what a great job teachers have been doing during this pandemic. It has been incredibly difficult. The challenges change all the time. And our teachers and our support staff have just stepped up every single step of the way. And so, you know, I, I congratulate them. I accept this award on their behalf because they're doing the hard work every day. I have some other family members that I know are watching today. And, you know, outside of my mom and dad, who are my inspirations, uh, I grew up around teacher coaches. And my uncle Dave Shadrick was a teacher coach who was basically my mentor and, and role model uh, for this position. Um, uh, my neighbors, the, the Travers, Stan and Bob Travers, both Barbara Travers, both educators, principals, coaches who inspired me to be an educator. Their son is my best friend, Rob, an educator. Um, the, the Venetero family, Manny Venetero, who was a superintendent and principal at East Providence High School. These were role models that I looked up to and said, boy, what a, what a good life that is, that the life of an educator, because you know, you, you can impact so many people on a daily basis. And really, I, I tell people this all the time, I can count on one hand the amount of bad days I have had in uh, my career in education. Uh, I, I look forward to going to East Providence High School every day. And now, and, and uh, Kathy Crowley can tell you this, now I look out my window in, from my office and I see rising behind me this magnificent 21st century building that will serve the students of East Providence and serve as a, a, a reminder to the state that we can do big things in education and we can do big things for kids uh, and make them feel as good as they possibly can when they enter a, a, a learning facility and know that, that we really care about them because this is as first class as it could possibly be. So as I said, I, I am humbled, I am honored. Uh, this is uh, overwhelming to me and I, I really appreciate all the accolades and uh, the nice words and to my colleagues and friends, uh, in the General Assembly who are tuning in, uh, you know, you've all been extremely kind to me and worked collaboratively with me on, on all of these issues, and it's much appreciated. I, I am truly blessed, so thank you very much. Thank you, Greg. As, as a fellow educator myself, and on behalf of the RISA organization, we want to congratulate you and thank you for all of your hard work and your advocacy. You've been a true partner for us and we couldn't be happier for you to receive this award today. So congratulations. And that ends our program for today. So I just wanna thank all of our distinguished guests for taking the time today to be here for this really important moment in time. And um, we look forward to our continued work together. Greg said it himself, you know, now more than ever educators are you know, really stepping up and doing really, really good, important work. So thank you for taking the time today and take care. Thank you.